I'm here live at the Marsh Harbor International Airport where a Bahamas Air jet uh, took off from Mexico at 9.58, uh, landed in Marsh Harbor around about 4 o'clock with Mexicans uh, to take Bohemian's job. And I keep repeating this, uh, that we send 35 Bahamians home from Dundas and Murphy Town, our professional coppers, uh, mason, everything, plumbers, electricians, and we bring in the cheap labor and say the hell with the Bahamians. Um, this is a new day. This is what the FNM do did. Uh, we are taught under the New Day government that this would have ceased. Oh, but that Baker's Bay money. That Baker's Bay money is like that dope money. Just gotta have it. Uh, nobody, no Bohemians that need work should be sent home while these Mexicans um, had housing. They did it after the hurricane, the FNM government. They provide housing. Uh, they told the Bohemians to figure it out. Now we're good. This is a new government, a new day government, but the same thing continues. As hundreds of Mexicans is pouring off this Bahamas Air jet, and they include the government by getting the national fly carrier. They made sure brought them in late evening where all the flights are in so all attention would not be on the Mexicans because nobody used it around the airport at this time but Kai is everywhere I'm the eyes of the world and I'm bringing the world to the Bahamas all Mexicans while Bahamians nobody should benefit from the Bahamas modern Bahamians after the hurricane, we are so hurt. We're still hurt. We're still at ground zero that even we have the qualifications, we can do quality work, but they think that we are overpriced. In the Bahamas, Baker's Bay are telling the Bahamas government and Bohemians that Mexicans are weight more than Bohemians in the Bahamas. Tell me something. If Mexico would have had a hurricane, would the Mexicans allow Bohemians to come from the Bahamas on Air Mexico and take Mex Mexicans' jobs, get housing, get food, everything, free flight, free transport? Could this happen if the condition was reversed? No. As they pour off of there, the last time they come, they didn't get the COVID-19 test. Uh, the question is, is the New Day government making sure that this crew got the vaccine? Ain't nobody on that plane should be coming to the Bahamas without the vaccine. Wow. All I could just say is wow. Wow, wow. Different government, same thing. Dr. Livingston Marshall, uh, he got to be the scar face of the Bahamas. Don't care which government is in power. Dr. Marshall know how to make them play. They all play at the tone of that Baker's Bay uh, dollar. My heart is getting tired just standing here watching the droves of Mexicans come off. I, I wonder, uh, I wonder if they have another Bahamas Air coming and when the next Bahamas Air is coming, uh, C6 DFX as the bus, I don't know where the bus going, but the bus must uh, going somewhere else to pick them up. Uh, they must declare customs already. This is the Bahamas, baby. This is the Bahamas, what I know.